Based on how well my last video about Crab Rave did, I think it's safe to say that many players fell victim to the monster crab in the past. It only makes perfect sense to revisit this topic in set 11. Honestly, not much has changed regarding this portal, except that it now plays the official Crab Rave song in the background. In set 10, I went over some of the more useful legendary units, like Kane or Kiana, to help you defeat the monster crab. So in that spirit, let's take a look at the new legendaries and see how they hold up. Our first contender will be Set. On an unrelated side note, did you know that working out with Set makes you bigger? I really love this encounter. It gives me time to grab a coffee in the middle of my TFT game. If we take a look at Set's ability, we can see that he deals damage based on the opponent's max health. This is quite useful, but we still have the problem that he won't ult very often and the monster crab has a ton of physical defense. Since Set doesn't have any true damage in his kit, initially I didn't have very high hopes for this matchup. But what I didn't expect is that this Giga Chat is simply incorporating the Monster Crab in his workout to receive a ton of bonus AD. Now he is more than strong enough to simply finish the Crab in his first cast and you don't have to worry about losing your LP anymore. The next legendary I want to investigate is Aurelia. On an unrelated side note, did you know that working out with Zed makes you bigger? I really love this encounter. It gives me time to take a shower in the middle of my TFT game. The nice part about Aurelia is that her blades sunder the enemy armor by 30%. Considering the high armor values of the monster crab, this will come in quite handy. Truth to be told, I was a bit worried about Aurelia because for some reason she seems to be unable to finish off enemy units and leaves them hanging on 1 HP. This could cause some of the fights to drag on, but my worries were unfounded. Her normal blades deal more than enough damage and she barely needs to use her ability for a second time to put this crab back into the ground. We are already 2 for 2 against the monster crab and I have to admit I didn't expect the legendaries of set 11 to perform this strongly. But there is one legendary that received a lot of nerfs during the PBE cycle and these nerfs might have been enough to make this into an unviable matchup. I'm speaking of course about Rakan. Now unlike Riot I haven't forgotten about Zaya and I will test her too but I wanted to see the Rakan matchup first. On an unrelated side note, did you know that working out with set makes you bigger. I love this encounter. It gives me time to work on a new video in the middle of my TFT game. The problem that Rakan is facing is that he is up against a single strong unit and his ability only truly shines if he jumps into a large block of enemies. After the fight starts, we can see that the initial damage from Rakan is pretty nice, but then he becomes overconfident and starts dancing for the rest of the fight. Since crowd control against the monster crab doesn't matter, this means the entire fight now depends on Saya on the side. She deals 266 damage with her feathers and is certainly trying her hardest to carry this deadweight boyfriend. Honestly, this fight looked like a lost cause until Rakan decided in the last second that he actually does prefer to win the fight and he goes for a second jump. Thankfully, this is enough damage to defeat the monster crab, but that fight looked very sketchy. Let's reverse the rules, put Rakan on the sideline and let Zaya deal with the fight herself. It doesn't take long for her to get going and her initial cast deals over 8500 damage. However, she is not done yet and pulling back her feathers is in fact enough damage to deal with the crab in a single cast. Not that we needed confirmation, but I think it's clear who is wearing the pants in this relationship. The next legendary unit that has to face off against the monster crab is Wukong. On an unrelated side note, did you know that working out with set makes you bigger? I love this encounter. It gives me time to file my taxes during my TFT game. Wukong overall is a surprisingly solid choice in Crab Rave. I say surprisingly because he can't really utilize the crowd control part of his kit, but he has very consistent damage and simply never stops bonking the crab until it finally goes down. Not much to say overall, I can definitely recommend adding Wukong to your team if you happen to find him. The only problem is that he is a bit contested, so make sure to scout for any heavenly players in your lobby, especially if you're running Find Vintage. On an unrelated side note, did you know that working out with Set makes you bigger? 
I love this encounter. It gives you enough time to subscribe to this channel. Now I'm sure one unit everyone is wondering about is Lissandra. She has a mechanic that allows her to instantly take down the last remaining unit on the enemy board and a lot of players have wondered if this works against the monster crab as well. This interaction did work during the PBE cycle and I'm happy to announce that this has not been fixed. As you can clearly see in this fight, Lissandra simply boils the scuttle crab alive and instantly takes it down no problem whatsoever. You even get a bunch of bonus gold for it because Riot wants to reward you for being so clever. A unit that doesn't have it as easy as Lissandra is Huawei. His ability doesn't seem to work all that well against the crab. In fact, it is trying to run away from him. The good news is that you can simply auto attack the scuttle to death and then make a quick escape. This process still takes a while, so you want to be careful about the enemy jungler. <laughs> Another legendary unit that is an easy recommendation is Udia. He has a very powerful jump ability, though it does feel like the scuttle is somewhat aware of this and tries to run away again. But no need to worry, while it might take Udia a few jumps to hit his target, he will eventually stomp the scuttle crab into mush and you receive all of the rewards. You also don't have to worry about taking too much damage. Udia has a massive shield, quite frankly, it didn't even look like he was taking any damage. So far, all of the legendary units have performed insanely well against the monster crab and with a perfect streak it is now up to Azir to wrap up the final fight against the monster crab. Uh, one sec, it looks like there might be an issue with my setup, uh, let me try this again. Okay, uh, yeah, this looks much better. Now all we need to do is, um, hmm, you know what, uh, it looks like there might be some trouble with my Lee client. Uh, let me just paint you a picture of what this fight should look like. Yep, that looks about right. It appears that beating Monster Crab in set 11 is super easy and you can pretty much run any of the legendaries to get the job done. Sometimes you will also encounter, no, not set, but instead augments that are extremely helpful in this region. Maybe you encounter Fine Vintage and set yourself up with an army of ZZ Rods and set yourself up for an epic insect battle. Or perhaps you're just stacking a bunch of Zika and Chalice and overpower the Monster Crab with your support support items, overall you have a lot of options at your disposal. In this video I only talked about legendaries, but I will make a follow up video that goes over the different setups and metacoms you want to run to avoid the embarrassing moment of dying to the PvE round. Happy April Fools, I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it. There will be an actual crab rave video in the future, I promise, but it's still a work in progress. I hope you learned nothing and see you next time. Mm. Yay, guys, did you know that working out with set makes you bigger? Yay, working out makes me bigger. Woo. Dude, ha is this like every game now? I feel like we we've gotten it like three games in a row now. Let me guess, set working out. Wow, who could have predicted? Probably working out with set like always, because I don't know, this shows up like every second game. <laughs> Again? Dude, ha like I feel like in five games this thing happened like four times.